I can't believe I'm actually here. Like, actually right here, a step away from crossing the threshold. I think I might shit myself. Or get sick. Or both. Shut up, Joey. Pull yourself together. I can actually feel my asshole tightening. I can hear my heart in my chest. It won't shut the fuck up. Why am I like this? Holy shit, it's freezing. I'm such an idiot. Okay, deep breath. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe this is actually fucking happening! <laughs> this is too soon. We need to rewind. The moment I knew I was gay, 11 years old, sat in the back of the class in our all-boy Catholic school in the west of Ireland. We're all waiting for our crusty old teacher, Mr. Thompson, who's a smitten balubaz and smells like a homeless man. <laughs> He's 45 minutes late. Jesus hangs proudly on the wall, limp and sad looking, sombre and dead. I'm jealous of his bang and bod being a fat little fucker myself. <laughs> well, I'm just thinking about Pokemon and what I'm going to eat for dinner that night when suddenly in walks my sexual awakening. Mr. O'Driscoll, this six foot something, dark, curly haired, broad shouldered, fucking right of man who saunters in and ruins my childhood because as soon as I see him, my balls drop. He tells us to tuck in our shirts. I go rock hard and I realise I'm a faggot and I'm going to burn in hell. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I promise I will do at least three chores a day if I stop getting intrusive thoughts about being smacked with a hurry stick by Mr. O'Driscoll. Dear Jesus, I promise I will never say a curse word again if I can get hard when I think about girls. God Almighty, I swear on the Holy Bible I will never think badly of anyone ever again if when my voice breaks, it becomes deep and not camp. <laughs> I knew the gays were camp. They're loud, they're shrill, they're dramatic, they are sassy, they are witty, they are feminine, they're fabulous. So I lower my voice. I seldom speak. I dress plainly. I spit in the floor. I fondle my crotch. And I never see that low. What's fucking wrong with straight men? <laughs> but I stop reading books. That wasn't cool. I stop playing Pokemon. That's pretty gay. I double take attractive men involuntarily. I start objectifying men, which means I start objectifying myself. And I think I'm fat and ugly. So, I stop eating as much and I start moving more. I see fit girls on the cover of special K boxes, so I start eating that. I'm shit at sports and I'm terrified that people will see that I'm shit at sports because that's not very heterosexual to me. So, I run. I swim. I do sit-ups at home. I'm an honest child. I never trick my friends or lie to my parents. But since I got that boner in class, I keep telling myself, I'm not gay. I'm not. I couldn't be. I lie to myself day in and day out, and suddenly I find myself lying to other people. You see, Ma, today, something up. No, Ma, I'm fine. Something bothering you. It's not, Ma. I'm fine. I can tell that something's off. It isn't. I'm grand. You know you can tell me anything. Fuck off, Mom! I'm fine! I'm 16 now. Leaving search. My school is in an old monastery. Jesus follows me everywhere. <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> 800 lads. Not one of them out. Gotten taller, leaned out a bit, closer to that god bod man, so I am. <laughs> Still a bit fat though. I've uh, come to terms with my sexuality, figure it's going nowhere, so I may as well embrace it. Not that I've done anything about it, I have not kissed anyone, let alone anything else. Not out to anyone either. I don't have any gay friends. I'd like to have gay friends. I find LGBTQ plus centers. I'd rather be crucified because you're modern. <laughs> Could be nice though. Maybe. 
Imagine if I see him going in. No, fuck that. I'm looking for a community of like-minded individuals, people I can relate to, who can relate to me. I discovered this thing called Grinder. This could work. I download it. Age limit. Add on two years, profile picture. Risky. I'll upload one of my silhouettes in the sunset. Romantic and mysterious. Next thing I know, I'm chatting to this guy. He doesn't have a Facebook either, weirdly, but he's got a bang and bod pic. Conversation's going well. Well, I'm the youngest of four. Me too. Oh yeah, the babies. I've got two sisters and an older brother. Same. And a dog called Artemis here, let me show ya. <laughs> he sends me a dog pic, it's fucking adorable. Oh, he's so sweet, I, I love the name too. Thanks, yeah, I'm interested in Greek mythology. <laughs> <laughs> of course he is, he's shaped like a fucking donut. I don't say it. I play it cool. Same. What's your dream date? Fuck. He doesn't respond. I think I've scared him away. Well, we can stay up late swapping manly stories and in the morning I'll make waffles. <laughs> Is that a Shrek reference? <laughs> I fucking love Shrek. I quickly Google Shrek quotes. Ogres are like onions. <coughs> they smell. No. They make you cry. No, donkey, ogres have layers. Three laughing emojis back. Would it be okay if I come over and spit in you and piss in you and shit in your face? <laughs> <laughs> I block him. Now it's all hairy balls, unsolicited advances. Hello, dick. Imagine if my mom saw me on this. How are you, dick? <laughs> my mom will be rolling in her grave. <laughs> Fun? Dick, <laughs> Jesus, Mary, and St. Joseph, who knew cots came in so many shapes and sizes? <laughs> <laughs> Is mine big enough? Can I come over and fist ya? <laughs> How does that even work? <laughs> Wanna come over and fart in my face? Kinks can be so varied. No fats, no femmes, no blacks, no trans, no Asian. Casual discrimination runs rampant. They say romance is dead. I delete the app. I sick on the telly. I'm looking for something fairly innocent after all that trauma. I find myself watching a rerun of Gladiator, which I think is pretty tame considering the amount of cocks I've seen today. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly an hour has passed and I find myself pausing the TV on Russell Crowe's half-naked body. And his sword has turned into a hurley stick. <laughs> and his face has morphed into Mr. O'Driscoll. <laughs> and next thing I know, my hands on my cock and I'm having a sad, frantic wank to my pause TV screen. <laughs> I read that old grinder. <laughs> oh, there's a profile that mentions Game of Thrones in his bio. I'm feeling optimistic. I fucking love Game of Thrones. What? God, they really did a study with that last season, though. I mean, to have those carefully laid plot points in earlier seasons comes absolutely nothing. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> Your bio? G-O-T? I'm wondering if anyone's got any tea. What, like Earl Grey? <laughs> <laughs> Barry's? You're more of a lines man. Rubox? I'm looking for Tina. Ah, who's Tina? <laughs> well, I'm wondering if anyone has got any methamphetamine. <laughs> I delete the app. <laughs> I'm 21 now, and this romanticism is dead. It's stupid anyway. Fictional. I there. Uh, kissed a fair few blokes. Not that I've done anything else yet. I'm more confident. Not fat anymore. Though I don't have a six pack or much muscle at all, really. Maybe I am a bit fat. I don't say blue bells anymore. I want to be one of those people that can have casual sex, think nothing of it. I'm on Grinder again, I've got my face on it now. Most of the time, sometimes just my body. But I'm feeling good about it. I'm out to everybody. If that matters. I'm ready. I'm gonna do it. 
I'm gonna let a farmer rail me on a bale of hay. <laughs> I think he'd be hot. <laughs> Maybe he'd be uncomfortable taking out bits of straw from my hair for hours afterwards. <laughs> Could get a wood like my arsehole. <laughs> Could be worth it though, to see what it's like to be shagged, cloud as it were. Needles in a haystack. <coughs> There'd be no Wi Fi or service, so if you knocked me out with a trowel, well, I couldn't let anyone know, and I can't drive, so it doesn't make sense. I could walk home, maybe I wouldn't be able to walk home after, I don't know. Is that how it works? <laughs> Fuck it! I open up Grinder. A faceless profile pops up. I can know Faceless profiles are either closeted husbands with three kids and an unhappy marriage, which is really fucking ugly. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Might make a cup of tea. My phone buzzes. Jesus, this guy's ear. Pick receipts. I do not want to see it on the penis today. Curiosity compels me to open it. <laughs> oh, it's a torso. How sweet. <laughs> it's a headless torso, but it's a nice torso. All pecs and abs, a little bit of hair, not too much. You're cute. Me? Why would somebody with this bang in a bar take interest in me? Maybe it's a catfish. Or maybe his face is gross. I shouldn't reply really, but the torso. Wish I could say the same to you. Where's your face pic? Sorry, I'm discreet. Discreet's code for married. I'm not. I'm just not out. <sighs> Court. I want to. I will soon. I'm just not ready. I'm scared. Maybe I'm being a hypocrite. It's not been that long since I came out. Had to get hammered to tell my brother. Shit face at 3 a.m. in the queue to McDonald's. <laughs> Bro, I've uh, got something to tell you. I like dick. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't very eloquent or <laughs> sensitive, but it did the job. <laughs> I understand if that's not something you're into or interested by. I'm just being honest. Fuck. I'm endeared. I understand. I've been there. I feel a little flushed. <laughs> How can I feel flushed about a headless torso? God, I'm pathetic. Wanna come over? Fuck! What do I say? My dick screams, Hey! I said this is a wonderful decision. <laughs> <laughs> Why is my dick Scottish? <laughs> <laughs> my head screams, Hey, no, it's fucking not. They start fighting. Unwise. What's the worst that can happen? Catfish! Kidnapping! Murder! He could turn out to be a bottom! <laughs> We've not been touched by any hand other than ours. Well, our hand would never choke you to death now, would it? Choking sounds kind of hot. Definitely worse ways to die. <laughs> Do you really want our first time to be with a total stranger? At this rate, we'll diverge if we keep waiting for Mr. Wright. <laughs> What if it's so pain is pleasure? <laughs> what if we get HIV? Condoms? What if we can never control a bowel movement again and spend the rest of our days shitting uncontrollably? <laughs> if that's how it worked, every gay man in the world would be leaving little brown tails behind him whenever he went. <laughs> what would mommy and daddy say? Don't fucking think about that right now! You're right, sorry, I'm always right! But what's that? Look at the torso! <laughs> I look at his body again. A sudden rush. My heartbeat increased at the idea of touching it. Of being touched. Before my brain can object further, send me the address. Beneath me and 
blood on me, ho. I don't know why, but I start tucking in my shirt. <laughs> it's like my hands have a mind of their own. My head's gone blank. I've almost fully dissociated. Never mind shitting myself. I think I'm going to pass out. And without actually making the decision to, I turn to face him, and I suddenly find myself saying, Excuse me, sir, do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? 